are at the CAD CAM stage. We bring in a model of our vice, we bring in the model of our stock and the part we're going to make. So we're looking at machining away all this material on the outside. Our big problem is that when you come and cut into this area uh, with a traditional tool path, what it will do is the whole tool will be wrapped by the metal and the tool load will spike up and that's when your tool goes bang. The aim of this is to cut a full 60 millimeters deep in one hit. Traditionally, you'll go around and do step of 10, 10, 10, 10, it takes forever. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down full depth. We're going to take little light low load cuts all the way around. So a traditional toolpath would just take your outline of your part and it would step it out by three millimeters, for example. So if we just preview where this toolpath is on this one, you can see it does lots of little cuts in fresh air to try and take the corner out. And then this one which comes in, that's wrapped a full 180 degrees around. When we run this on the CNC machine, you'll go from 30% tool load to 180% tool load. And that's just not acceptable. That will blow the tool up, it will stick, it will clag, it will cause too many problems. It won't be reliable and it's going to kill your tools. And these tools are very expensive. You're looking at around £300 for one single 20mm DLC cutter. So we need these to last thousands of parts. So instead we use a, a new high-tech um, toolpath from Autodesk who make this software. It's called Vortex. So if we preview this toolpath, what this does is it uses a high-tech physics engine to calculate the engagement of the tool and limits how much the tool is engaged by. So if you look at the path, it does all sorts of weird wiggles and when it comes to a corner, instead of plunging straight in, it just slowly winds its way in and that means that you get all these interesting trachoidal patterns but that keeps the tool load nice and consistent. Because it's consistent, we can step over and cut bigger cuts we can also cut more consistently, you get better tool life, and also you can increase the feed substantially. So from traditional toolpath to the new Vortex toolpath, maybe three to four times quicker, and the finishes are so much better on this. The Haas VF2, we're going to make some stems today. What we're going to talk about is high feed, high speed, full depth trachoidal milling. We've got a big block of aluminium which we need to turn as fast as possible into a stem body. So, first cut is to take out the majority of the material. That's a rough cut, a really nice polished finish on there. What you need to use to get that kind of finish is a really high end tool like this one. This is from WNT. It's a uh, Diamond like carbon coated, 20 millimeter long section cutter. You can cut 60 mil in one cut with this cutter. Obviously, to make it work, you need to have a WNT Centro P high uh, accuracy collet chuck. This is accurate to two microns at the tip of the tool of this length. So, we put this in the machine, let's press go.
about Superstar components, we're big fans of really nice, high quality tooling. Uh, everything we use is solid carbide or high precision insert cutters. This is sort of traditional style cutter. It's great for most jobs, but uh, we need a little bit more from our products to get a higher finish and a higher precision. So now we tend to use WNT's new DLC diamond light carbon coated cutters. Unlike a traditional coated cutter, it doesn't blunt the ends of the, the tips. And also it's really low friction, so the, uh, the chips don't stick to it. And you can actually run these dry in aluminium quite Okay, as I said about the high precision collets and the high precision uh, collet chucks, it makes a massive difference to the finishing on your machining. A traditional machine shop would use a standard ER collet chuck. This costs about 20 to 25 pounds. It's okay for doing drilling and a few light bits of work, but the run out on the, on the cutter when you have the cutter stuck out, the tool wobbles around like this. It's not very precise, so you can't take big cuts. And at Superstar, we make big cuts so we can make great parts with a really nice finish every time. So we tend to only use uh, WNT Centro P's, which are these super high precision collets. And the accuracy of the taper between where the collet fits inside here and the taper which fits into the machine is within two or three microns. And then the collet is a, another really high precision one. On a standard ER chuck, you might use 20 or 50 micron accuracy collets. On this, you use the Centro P two micron collet. So added up, this is a hell of a lot more precise. So you don't get to wander on your tool wobbling around as you're cutting. Obviously, as your tool wanders around, you're taking bigger or lighter cuts, which then affects the precision and the quality and the, the tool life of your tools.